so welcome back to my channel uh, before we get into what we're doing today let's let's get those disclaimers out of the way then hop into it of course before I get started I do have those disclaimers to get out of the way I live near a major highway here in the country of Belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where I live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and thirdly, I have dogs. I have dogs, my neighbors have dogs. So if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, including my own, start barking. And with that, I get back to my regular scheduled program. Okay, for today, we're doing something special. We're using the Jazzy Jazza Art App. I will put a description there. I've been using this app now for about a year. And I really enjoy it. I like the prompts in it. And I decided for today, for this very special February edition, let's put some love into the air. And we're gonna do the Jazzy Jazzy Art app for February. And what I'm gonna do is take the prompt that Jazza has given to me and kind of Valentine's up that prompt a bit, just to kind of show some kind of, um, you know, just to get into the season. I will not be drawing exactly what he says. I will be Valentine it up a bit. So let's see what Jazza asked us to do. As you can see, I have the app opened. I clicked on challenge matchup, character challenge, and let's go and see what it gives us. In three, one, and what are we doing? A cocky soldier who is distracted by texting someone writing. Okay, now, so to Valentine's Day up this a bit, I decided to switch it up just a little bit. Instead of drawing a cocky soldier who is texting and distracted, I did a soldier on a tricycle distracted by a female texting. You know, just to bring the you know the, 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 the season into it and trying to create a prompt out of a prompt to draw a prompt for Valentine's Day. And all in all, it was actually super excited doing this. As you can see, I'm using that HB pencil I talked about in a previous video. I should link it somewhere to let you guys know. And I'm just basically trying to go in there, trying to get the proportions, trying to do that map thing that I like to do when I'm drawing something, trying to make sure everything is within the composition of the sketch um right now i am getting the female i think the female kind of gave me a little problem especially this walking pose gave me a bit of issue because i wanted her to be within the composition and i wanted everything within this composition to be joined so i didn't want it to seem separate you know and i wanted to be able to tell a, a cohesive story that anyone who's looking at this illustration can get the story that i am trying to portray now as you can see me i'm trying to flesh out everything that i had my structure all set down ensure that i add clothes onto my characters and again going into the female you know because she's actually from a side on view so i'm trying to make sure that you know we portray her just walking by unaware that this soldier is looking at her and now i'm going there inking my inking process is kind of funny where i actually start off first inking with a 0.1 or in this case a zero a 0 0.05 fine liner i ink everything first with that and then after inking everything with this 0 0.05 fine liner you will then see me in a bit going in there with a brush tip liner actually a brush tip liner and that's because i like using the brush tip because it helps me thicken the lines there are some that i will remain at the 0 0.05 and then there's some that i will thicken up just a bit especially those outlines of the characters trying to create emphasis on the characters as you can see me doing there and all in all it was actually a fun experience now you will see me next in the color up of this piece i actually have this piece in my patreon for those who want to color along with me just go to my patreon the link it is in the description below and you can color along with me for this piece i'm not sure if i'm going to put any coloring books up for the month of february but you should sure can have this one Hey guys so we are finished with that process and now we're doing the coloring process of this illustration for the coloring process of this illustration I will be using the Jackson's artist grade watercolor paints these were bought from Jackson's art in the UK and shipped to me and I 
basically I only got about seven colors. I have cerulean blue, perma permanent magenta, um, an aureoline, phthalo blue, jackson's red, a quinacridone gold, and the middle color is actually neutral tint. Jackson's art supply store is an art supply store like Blick, um, Dick Blick in the United States where they sell art supplies but they also sell their own in-house brand and their in-house brand is actually called Jackson's just like the store and this is their Jackson's watercolor paints. They also sell watercolor papers, um, oil paints, acrylic and other different stuff with their own brand labels. I choose to put it in this little container here, it looks so nice and cute. And also I did a color mixing chart with it right here. And as you can see, these are the different mixes that you can get with this paint when you mix the colors at 50%. I think they're gorgeous colors. I really appreciate it, seven colors in this. The only concern I have is that aureoline yellow because it is actually truly the aureoline uh, pigment that is used. So it has a tendency to turn dark. It's not very light fast, but I love the quinacridone gold, love the blues, love the fact that I added a neutral tint to this um, palette. Allows me to darken or mute down some of these colors because it's a fairly warmed or bright palette that um, I have chosen. So this neutral tint here can actually kind of darken down and give me some really muted tones to this palette. So I really love it. I think it's gonna look beautifully with this illustration. And that's what we're gonna do. So now that I've explained everything, let's get all color up. Loving you. guys I am finished um, I'm just gonna set this aside so that it can dry it was actually a very long process it took almost three hours because I had to let it dry after I did the first part 
and then oh, I'm not finished <laughs> I just realized I'm not done I have a part that I need to finish up and um, right here so I had to let it dry and then go in there and then finish it up and try to be very strategic and where to use the colors now I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see that part. But yeah, this was an interesting experience. It was very enjoyable. I won't say it wasn't. And you know, I'm just trying to tighten up some of my loose areas now. You see areas where I haven't finished it, so I'm just trying to tighten it up just a bit. Yeah, narrow it up. Yeah, um, I really love this experience I love the contrasting colors that I chosen with the green background um, I was struggling not to put the seat his bicycle seat red but then at the end of the day I wanted to, to be able to put some a color there that will immediately draw your attention to him and then secondary to the girl so that that really bright red color for his bicycle seat was really a very good choice of course the entire seat is not red I kind of dull it down with a little bit of neutral tint here in the inner parts of the seat so that you know it's not all red it's just not a big red blob and then I made her hair yellow another very bright color I made her very bright the only thing on him that is very bright is his bicycle seat whereas she has that bright purple dress that bright yellow hair so it, it kind of draw you into him first at first glance and then you kind of your eyes kind of eased over to her because then you kind of see in second brightness so I think all in all it was a great way of composing the piece I really love the colors that I chosen especially for the threes how I gradiated the the, the three colors this bright green light green and then you had other greens in it and I made one of the green kind of bluish to show that it was farther in the background but all in all this was a very enjoyable experience thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and as always stay safe stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye